brittle bones may be the bane of older women, as breaks and fractures can sometimes lead to hospitalizations. Now, research is showing weight-bearing exercise may offset the effects of bone-sapping conditions. Definitely, strength training is very important for people with osteoporosis. Physical therapist Kath Kinross puts her patients through the paces, increasing muscle and strengthening their skeletons. As the muscles are contracting and pulling on the actual bones, and particularly with strength training because it's quite a strong pull, that encourages your body to lay more calcium down in the bones. Wanda Nelson is a gym regular. I try to get here two to three times a week for one hour, do some cardio as well as the strength training. Diagnosed with osteoporosis, she's seen a marked improvement in her bone health. I went from a poor bone density into a normal bone density in June and uh, off of my medication, which is good. Bone production peaks at age 35, but you're never too old to start boosting bone health. Even women in their 60s can begin a supervised exercise plan. Walking, running, if you were doing Tai Chi standing, that would be considered a weight-bearing exercise. The sweat equity pays dividends with not only bones, but heart and weight. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.